My kind of food knowledge of Paris kind of stems from my drinking. So much Can I please buy a bottle of mezcal for the road? Ale! These shots. I'm still standing and still drinking. That's the most important thing. Luckily, all of these places have really amazing cocktail bars, so I've kind of like stumbled across some amazing food that really made me kind of like realize that there's like this whole new food culture that's springing up in Paris, and that's why I'm here. There's some amazing chefs, there's some amazing bartenders, there's amazing produce in France, and to be able to kind of work with these guys and to work with that produce is like, it's like a dream come true for me. Bon appétit. I'm Shayola, the owner of Death by Burrito. Um, we're in Hoxton Square. The area's changed a lot since I first moved around here, which was about 15 years ago. So yeah, this is my new spot, Death by Burrito, Hoxton Square. It's been a week old so far, and hopefully it's gonna be a really cool spot. So this is my kitchen. I'm gonna make one of our favorite dishes, our Baja fish tacos. Here at Def Barbarita, we try and kind of like keep all our ingredients fresh. We try and make stuff every day. It's really simple, fresh food. We just got a little bit of pico that we just put on top. And then we've got our basically our homemade chipotle mayo, which is like mayonnaise, creme fraiche, and a few chipotle chilies all just blitzed up, just to give it a little bit of a kick. So it's our Def Barbarita Baja fish tacos. Tomorrow we'll be heading off to Paris. Um, and there's a few spots that we're going to check out along the way and hopefully we're going to have lots of fun with it. I really like Paris as the city because of its size. It's a little bit smaller than London. You go to these places and you're kind of pleasantly surprised by the kind of dishes and the innovation that's kind of coming out of a city that usually only has very kind of traditional food. So I've been kind of like messing around in Paris for about five, six months now. There are a lot of really cool chefs who have taken on the kind of the French culinary scene in ways that hasn't been done before. We're getting a lot of young chefs from overseas as well as young French chefs who are sort of really trying to modify the whole kind of French food way. And it's really exciting. And it's quite nice to be in an environment where you can feel the excitement and you can actually feel you know, the energy from all of this kind of creativity that's coming out. La fille n'a pas joué au football. Le garçon n'a pas joué au tennis. Le garçon n'a pas joué au tennis. Up until a month ago, I barely spoke anything, and now I'm kind of like getting a hundred percent on pretty much every exercise that I do. So, with the help of Rosetta Stone, I've managed to kind of up my game on the whole French thing. It's definitely an asset, and I think I'm going to continue to use it while I'm in Paris and really kind of like get my linguistic skills up to par. Yeah, 95% already. Let's do this. We're going to check out a few of my favourite spots in Paris. And my head barman Charlie's coming with me. A couple of my chef friends, uh, a few of the troublemakers that I know in Paris. This is Candelaria. It's basically my favourite place in Paris. Came here a couple of years ago, had some awesome tacos, had some awesome drinks. So I brought some of my friends, Charlie, Letitia, and Dimitri. And we're going to have some good food. Charlie's like my lover in Paris. He's an amazing barman, an amazing kind of like cocktail guy. Dimitri, or Minimi as I like to call him, he's one of the barmen at Candelaria. I'm completely in love with Letitia. I think she's amazing. And she's also the head chef at the Fish Club. Voila, allez. Let's do it. Bonjour. Well, I'm gonna find out what's on the menu first. I'm gonna practice by one of my French lines and see, see how I get on. On the check. Cheers. Cheers. Yo. Okay. Ça c'est poire. Ça c'est mushroom. Champignon. Comment <laughs> Champignon. Si. Ah c'est poulet. Good as food right there from Candelaria. Great tacos. I'm a big fan of Candelaria because of the honesty of the food. It's quite unusual to find something that's so kind of like true to its origins. Me, I would like that very much if you would help me cook tomorrow. Will your boyfriend get upset though? Ah, come on. I'm just saying. All right, <laughs> 
We're at Pearson. He's been here for, for a while and he's put like a nice Korean spin on like classic French cuisine. Meilleur en France is a huge, huge deal. They have it for like bakers, butchers, fishmongers. You're literally against sort of like 10,000 other guys in France. And if you win, you're fucking, you know, the best in the world. Oh, it's encore, it's encore fait maison. C'est des harangs. Alors c'est mariné avec de l'huile de l'huile d'olive bio. Ils sont marinés pendant une semaine. Une semaine, tu les laisses mariner. Oh, c'est super. Oh, that's good. Kind of what I love about Paris is like everyone thinks it's very kind of stuffy and traditional, but there's really cool characters who are doing really cool things. Ah, yeah, boy. I've got an erection. Coming from his face. So what we just ate was like turtle. Kind of like a little riff on strawberries and cream. There's strawberries, cream, and some poached figs as well. Yes, please. That cuisine, l'esprit is correct. L'esprit is correct. So this was Pearsai, an amazing food experience. We're going to move on to our next venue, which is going to be the Fish Club. Whoa, whoa. You can still get in the car and speak on the phone, you know? All right. It's a mobile phone. <laughs> so after that, we headed over to the Fish Club. She is the sexiest chef in Paris. My soirée est extraordinaire parce que je la passe avec Shay, avec Charlie Brooke, avec Don't mention Charlie. Charlie is not involved in this conversation. At some point in the night, I managed to procure myself some flashing pink mouse ears, or red, whatever color they were. I think from this point onwards, we have to switch to mezcal. <coughs> yes. Five Everything is five euros. I don't have five euros. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's over. How do you feel? <laughs> Alors ici on est dans un restaurant euh, fusion euh, péruvien, donc à savoir ici le ceviche qui est le plat typique euh, du Pérou. Donc on a revisité avec euh, donc une purée de piment amarillo et ici donc une création du chef qui est un demi homard flambé au mescal avec des ravioles de homard au fenouil et voilà du mescal que du bonheur. It's one of the surprising things about France, the fact that a 23 year old girl can be running a restaurant, running a kitchen in one of kind of Paris's best restaurants. It's a sign that things are definitely changing and becoming very dynamic here. Okay. Aval, Steve. C'est bon don. Voilà. C'est bon don. So now we're gonna go and just like end the night looking at the best views in Paris, Le Pochoir BHV. I've got a ride. I don't need you guys anymore. I need to go to bed. Because tomorrow I'm gonna have to cook for fucking everyone. I'm gonna try and do a kind of French rescue and fusion dish. But we'll see. We're signing off. Bonjour. Bonjour. Euh, Avez-vous massa harina? Massa harina. Oui. Voilà. Ah, oh, parfait. Merci beaucoup. So yeah, we're just picking up some supplies for tonight. Um, got some massa flour, which is the essential ingredient for making tacos. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Bonne soirée. Merci. Merci. Au revoir. À bientôt. So tonight we're at Table Rong, which is an amazing kind of concept restaurant space where they invite chefs to come and showcase their their culinary skills. I've teamed up with Juan and we're basically making some ceviche tacos. I've got my 
ghetto taco press here. Juan's got some amazing toppings and we're just gonna put this stuff together and fucking serve out some great food. This is why I love Paris at the moment. There's like such innovation using classic French stuff, infusing it with South American flavors. Merci chef. Taste it. We're putting together a hybrid menu, a ceviche and kind of taco combination. I'm really happy with the result. Tacos are the one. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing, we have to open it. Yeah, 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 it's finished, done. No problem. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it's the same thing, Merci, Paris. Tu me vois, accueilli. Bon appétit. Santé, bitch. You know, in, in recent years, like, Parisians have really embraced kind of like other cultures. For me personally, it's really nice to be at that kind of like the start of this sort of new revolution of food that's happening in Paris at the moment. If they will accept me, with a little bit of luck, I'm going to try and open a Death Barrito in Paris. We're in talk with some people and we're going to do a few collaborations and see how it goes. Ooh, London Apparee, Cité Monchies, Je suis chez, bon appétit.